Imagine standing in the middle of an intricately woven spider's web, feeling the delicate yet powerful threads that connect every part of your life. The silken strands glisten with an ethereal beauty, but the spider, lurking in the shadows, is waiting for the perfect moment to strike. This spider is a narcissist, and the web is her intricate web of manipulation. They play your emotions like an exquisite symphony, knowing just when to tug at your heartstrings, all while orchestrating a masterful performance using cognitive empathy. It's time to recognize the conductor behind the curtain, so you can reclaim the power they've stolen from you. So what is cognitive empathy? It's often described as a double-edged sword. Cognitive empathy is the ability to understand and predict others' emotions, thoughts, and perspectives. It is a valuable skill that can foster deep connections and empathy in relationships. Cognitive empathy is different from other types of empathy in that it focuses on understanding and predicting others' emotions, thoughts, and perspectives, rather than directly experiencing or resonating with their feelings. However, when wielded by a narcissist, it becomes a dangerous tool of manipulation. They use cognitive empathy to analyze your emotional reactions, identifying your vulnerabilities, and using them against you. While they may possess cognitive empathy, allowing them to understand and predict others' emotions, thoughts, and perspectives, they often lack the ability to connect on a deeper emotional level. Narcissists may use cognitive empathy as a means to manipulate others to achieve their own ends. By understanding others' emotional states, they can identify vulnerabilities and exploit them to their advantage. This type of empathy is strategic and instrumental, rather than genuine and compassionate. Here are the most common methods of cognitive empathy a narcissist may employ on you. The Gaslight Waltz One of the narcissist's favorite dances is a gaslight waltz. They use cognitive empathy to twist your reality, making you doubt your own perceptions and memories. For example, imagine you confront them about a hurtful comment they made in front of your friends. They deny it ever happened and insist that you are being overly sensitive or imagining things. They weave a web of doubt and confusion, making you question your own sanity. The more you dance to their tune, the more disoriented and helpless you become. By throwing you off balance, this is exactly what the narcissist wants to do. Next is called the Silent Sonata. The Silent Sonata is another manipulation tactic narcissists use to control you. They leverage cognitive empathy to gauge when you're most vulnerable and then abruptly withdraw their affection or attention, leaving you feeling abandoned and desperate for the validation. For instance, you may be excited to share news of a promotion at work, but instead of celebrating with you, the narcissist goes silent, punishing you for taking the spotlight away from them. This emotional roller coaster leaves you grasping for their approval, effectively keeping you under their control. Next up is the Guilt Symphony. The Guilt Symphony is a classic narcissistic performance designed to make you feel responsible for their emotions and actions. They use cognitive empathy to identify your weak spots and exploit them. For example, they may know that you're deeply committed to family, so they blame you for any issues that arise, insisting that you're tearing the family apart. In an effort to avoid further conflict, you may find yourself bending over backward to appease them, thus reinforcing their control over you. The Victim's Requiem In The Victim's Requiem, the narcissist uses cognitive empathy to play the part of the suffering victim, manipulating your sympathy to serve their own needs. When confronted with their harmful behavior, they quickly shift the focus onto themselves, painting a picture of their own pain and suffering. You may have caught them lying, but now they're tearfully recounting a traumatic childhood experience that led them to develop trust issues. As a compassionate person, you feel compelled to console and support them, inadvertently minimizing their wrongdoing. The Flattery Fanfare The Flattery Fanfare is a deceptive tactic where the narcissist uses cognitive empathy to shower you with praise and admiration, preying on your insecurities and need for validation. They may compliment your intelligence, appearance, or talents, making you feel special and seen. However, this superficial adoration is merely a ploy to gain your trust and manipulate you into doing their bidding. You may find yourself going out of your way to please them, only to be left feeling used and discarded once they've achieved their desired outcome. The Jealousy Overture The Jealousy Overture is a tactic narcissists use to manipulate you by exploiting your insecurities and fears of abandonment. They use cognitive empathy to detect your weak spots and manufacture situations that evoke jealousy and insecurity. For example, they may flirt with your friends or mention how attractive a coworker is, all while observing your reaction. This jealousy leaves you feeling unworthy and desperate for their validation, ensuring they remain the center of your attention and affection. The Divide and Conquer Symphony In the Divide and Conquer Symphony, the narcissist uses cognitive empathy to sow discord among friends and family members, isolating you from their support system. They know that you are more vulnerable and easier to control when you're alone. They may spread lies and gossip about you, turning your loved ones against you, or manipulate you into believing that your friends and family are untrustworthy. The more isolated you become, the tighter their grip on your life becomes. The Martyr's Lament 
The Martyr's Lament is a cunning tactic narcissists use to manipulate you by portraying themselves as selfless and sacrificial, exploiting your empathy and guilt. They know that you have a strong sense of responsibility and compassion, so they make you feel indebted to them for their seemingly altruistic acts. For example, they may insist on taking care of you while you're sick, only to later remind you of their selflessness when they need a favor. This manipulation performance leaves you feeling obligated to reciprocate, further binding you to their control. The Fearful Fantasia The Fearful Fantasia is a dark and ominous composition, crafted by the narcissist to instill fear and insecurity in your heart. They use cognitive empathy to detect your deepest fears and anxieties, which they then exploit for their own gain. For instance, they may know that you're terrified of losing your job, so they plant seeds of doubt about your job security or your ability to find a new one if needed. As your fear grows, you become more dependent on the narcissist for emotional support, ensuring they maintain control over your life. The Projection Polonaise The Projection Polonaise is a manipulation tactic where the narcissist deflects their own negative traits or actions onto you, making you feel responsible for their shortcomings. They use cognitive empathy to identify your insecurities and project them back onto you. For example, they may accuse you of being selfish when they are the ones constantly prioritizing their own needs over yours. This projection leaves you feeling guilty and defensive, distracting you from the narcissist's true nature and allowing them to avoid accountability. The Triangulation Tango. This is a big one. Picture yourself on a grand ballroom floor. The lights dimmed and the music playing a seductive melody. You are one of the three dancers, each entwined with a passionate yet perilous dance of jealousy and desire. This dance is a triangulation tango, and the narcissist is your choreographer, skillfully manipulating the movements of each dancer, ensuring they remain the central focus. By understanding the steps of this twisted tango, you can break free from the narcissist's control and rediscover your own rhythm. The narcissist uses cognitive empathy to assess your insecurities, fears, and weaknesses, carefully orchestrating situations that will evoke jealousy and rivalry. They involve a third party, creating a love triangle or competition for their affections, forcing you to vie for their attention and validation. This third party can be an ex-partner, a close friend, a co-worker, or even a family member. The narcissist's ultimate goal is to ensure that you remain fixated on them, reinforcing their position at the center of your emotional universe. In the triangulation tango, the narcissist subtly pits you against a third party, making you feel inferior and desperate to prove your worth. They may share intimate details of the past relationships or praise the qualities of others, all while observing your reaction. This emotional tug of war leaves you feeling destabilized, insecure, and constantly on edge as you strive to secure the narcissist's love and attention. The narcissist's deceptive dance leads you to believe that if you can outshine your perceived rival, you will finally win their undivided love and attention. However, this is a false promise, as the narcissist thrives on the drama and tension. Even if you manage to outperform your rival, the narcissist will simply find a new dance partner to maintain the cycle of competition and jealousy. To break free from the narcissist's manipulation dance, it is essential to recognize the tactics they use to keep you entwined in their web of control. Acknowledge that their love and attention are not scarce resources, and that you deserve to be valued without having to compete for affection. Establish boundaries and distance yourself from the narcissist and their triangulation tactics. By recognizing the steps and breaking free from their manipulative grip, you can rediscover your own rhythm and reclaim your own power. The Love Bombing Rhapsody The Love Bombing Rhapsody is an intense and intoxicating tactic narcissists use to lure you into their web of manipulation. They use cognitive empathy to determine your emotional needs and desires, showering you with affection, gifts, and attention that seem too good to be true. Unaware that this grandiose display is merely a facade designed to gain your trust and devotion, once a narcissist feels they have you strongly in their grip, the love bombing ceases, and their true manipulative nature emerges, leaving you disoriented and longing for the person you thought you knew. The Flying Monkey Serenade the Flying Monkey Serenade is a sinister tactic where the narcissist enlists others to do their bidding, manipulating you from behind the scenes. They use cognitive empathy to identify who is susceptible to their influence and carefully orchestrate scenarios to achieve their desired outcome. For example, they may convince a mutual friend to encourage you to forgive them after a conflict, knowing that they're more likely to yield to external pressure. This manipulation leaves you feeling cornered and helpless, as the narcissist's reach extends beyond the confines of your relationship. The Devaluation Dirge the devaluation dirge is a painful and heartbreaking composition designed to make you feel worthless and unlovable. The narcissist uses cognitive empathy to pinpoint your insecurities, ruthlessly criticizing and belittling you to break your spirit. They may mock your appearance, intelligence, or abilities, making you feel insignificant and undeserving of love. This systematic devaluation erodes your self-esteem, making you more vulnerable to their control and manipulation. The Discard Nocturne the Discard Nocturne is the final, devastating act in the narcissist's twisted symphony. They use cognitive empathy to determine when you are no longer useful or have started to see through their facade. 
At this point, they abruptly discard you, leaving you feeling abandoned and emotionally shattered. This heart-wrenching betrayal often leaves you longing for the love and affection they once showed, unaware that it was all a carefully crafted illusion. Reclaiming the Baton The Narcissist Symphony of Manipulation is a heart-wrenching and soul-crushing composition designed to keep you entangled in their web of control. By recognizing the insidious tactics they use to exploit your cognitive empathy, you can begin to unravel the web and reclaim your power. Earlier, we discussed the tactics narcissists often use to manipulate you. Recently, I have been exploring this issue at length. If you are interested, then check out these other videos here. These will help you embark on a path towards greater self-awareness, healthier relationships, and emotional freedom.